everyone, it's Teach Natalie here. I'm just going to show you a few exercises that can really help with your handstands. And I know we've got a handstand challenge, a 30 day handstand challenge coming up soon. So they're going to show you different ways of doing handstands, but these are different exercises that can really develop your handstand. But make sure, um, if you are doing handstands, ask your mum and dad first. And make sure you've got lots of room and there's no, no hard objects around you. So the first thing that we need to do is this is something called a dish. So you should all know this flips and twisters because I mention it in every single class that we do. So dish and parents, you can get involved too. So you need to sit on your bottom like this. Your legs go out and your hands go there. And for a different variation, so you can hold it for 10 seconds and to make it even harder, pull those arms all the way up past your ears and see if you can sink down a little bit. And then this, this is to get this tension in your legs to squeeze together. And this is a bit like a on the floor handstand, just not in the air. So squeeze your legs, hold up for 10. And then lay down to relax. And then you're going to go up again. But this time with your feet, you're going to do little scissor kicks like that. So your feet, you can do 10 on each leg. And then what you can do after is in and out, not too big, just in and out like this. And then that uses the inside muscle of your leg, that one does. Right, so what I'll do, I'll just take my camera over to a wall. So even though this looks really easy, you can get, it can really tear out all your muscles. So just move this. And this is called a sitting down hamster. So find a wall, put your bottom right to the back of it, point your legs, sorry you can see my feet, but you're going to brush your shoulders on the wall like this, and go all the way up, and just doing this will really help strengthen all the muscles that you need for a handstand. So head right to the back, make sure everything is resting on the floor or on the wall, and challenge your mum or dad to see how long they can do that one for because they will be surprised. So we're going to practice the dish, the dish kicks, the dish scissors, this one, and another one you can do either on the steps, but I'd recommend the couch. So what I'm going to do here is this is called a pike stand. So I'm not going to show you an actual handstand, but these are all the things that can complement to really help to get a handstand. So you need to make your body at the shape of a right angle. Oh, look, I've got my picture. So the corner, that's how you need to make your body shape. So I'll show you it this way. So feet go on the couch, and then you need to sit your bottom all the way into the air. I'll show that side on as well as over here. Right, so put your feet on there. And you should make a nice right angle as far as you can. So, a variation for that one. So I know a lot of you can hold that for 10 seconds easy. And to make it even harder, to make a variation, sit your bottom in the air, lift one leg up, hold it, put that one down, hold that leg on. And then, to vary even more, the leg that is down, the leg that is up and the leg that is down, just pop that leg 10 times, how you could do it on the other one. So a lot of these, they start from the basic variations and they get harder and harder and harder. So if you do those skills every day, your handstand will be fantastic. And then look out for our 30 day handstand challenge too, because there's lots of fun ones and you'll see me and the other teachers from Little Jim Harrogate and me. Thank you for watching.